How you folks doing? Oh, we went out on Santee trying to do some uh, catfishing. Got the morning started. Cut the corner, went up the lake. Winds howling. It's rough. Conditions just wasn't right. Um, looked over, saw somebody waving. It's a pontoon. People stranded. Been there all night. We had to help them, carry them to the landing, all that good stuff, um, doing our good deed. And uh, then we finally got to get back out. We went out all the way across the lake, fighting that wind, trying to get out the wind. Um, got a few bites. The bites was tough. It was tough. It was just one of them days. One of them days that we had to fish. But um, we ended up coming on back in, trying to get out the wind in a creek somewhere. And uh, we got up in a creek and made some drifts, um, caught some fish, lost some fish, uh, run out of all that bait from using it up all day trying to make something happen. And uh, we ended up finally putting some in the box um, and getting a few of them on video. Um, it was a great day, just hanging out, fellowshipping, you know, just just getting out. Um, it, it, it was fun. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a good trip. Um, next trip we take with these guys, it will be better. Um, but now, you know, granted, like I said, wind was hot. Uh, the wind was howling. It was hot. Conditions just wasn't on our side. You know, when you think catfish, think you just go out there and start catching. You know, it don't happen like that. These guys know it too. Um, they're fishermen as well. But uh, we didn't give up. We stuck with it. Hold him up higher. At least little man got uh, got some slime on his hands and uh, got a few in the boat to fry up. Um, made some memories, had some fun. You know, like I said, we got to do a rescue. So that was another positive thing, I guess. Um, but anyway, just, just a little clips of uh, our day. You, you noticed the winds howling. But um, nevertheless, it was a great day. I enjoyed it. Um, Cooper, he, uh, he got to catch all the fish. And that's, that's, good. That, that's good. I wish we could fill the boat up with them, but there's days like it. You know, people might say they ain't, but there is. There's fishing. But we had fun. We made some memories. We got to ride around a lot of that lake. I mean, we fished shallow, deep, pumps, flats, stumps. We fished everywhere and ended up getting up, like I said, this creek a little bit out of the wind, slow the boat down a little bit. And uh, no, that's where they've been eating clams off that put some meat in the boat. But, uh, again, thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this trip, the catfish trip. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you. Thanks to everybody for watching and support. Thank you. We yeah, appreciate it. We'll try to video every trip. Good, the bad, and the ugly. If I struggle, you're going to find out I struggle. If it's a great day, you'll find out it's a great day. We let you see the real deal. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, appreciate y'all. Thank you. Give me some, man. That's what I'm talking about. We get a big one. How'd that feel, huh? That's what happens when you don't get one.
lay it long ways on the other side of that boat over there. Right there, just lay it down the side. Okay. And I shallowed the cork. The cork. I, I put the cork closer to the hook. So I don't know. Catch another one off the rod. Man. And that'll be what it is. Yeah. Now I ain't jealous. What? Let me Glad see. Glad you caught that Let fish. Let me see the picture. See that rod tip up there. There you go. As long as you got that rod tip up, he's got to pull down. Got to keep that hook set. That'll work. Yep. That'll be all right. That's all right. That's all right. Maybe he just turned out to be something else. Yeah. He might have been swimming with it then. I thought it was a little fish. Oh, Unless a big fish got him. No, it's a little. That's a little. It's a little.
All right, things are turning around for me. What you got now? I got three in the boat. Three in right. the gar, so. Three gar? No, <laughs> no, I got three cats and one gar so far. So, we, I'm back, back on the good side now. Guess what All I was right. just asked? Where are you? I got them in the live well, but guess what uh, I was just asked? What time do you normally knock off? <laughs> so, yeah. I, I told I, I, I didn't know. <laughs> they didn't say they'll stay out there as long as you want, did they? <laughs> no, they ain't said that yet. <laughs> tell them to make that mistake. <laughs> you mean it? <laughs> No, I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to go make another drill. I'm using. Hey, let me come tell you. Huh? You know, if you're coming from Potato Creek, you go in between Green Island and Cut Up. Yeah. There's a ditch right there. You can find it. Well, that's what I was in. I was in that ditch. Oh, were you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I picked up like the seat back to back there one morning. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was so in that I'm ditch. Still in the day. She's in the day. Right, but if they starting to bite, I hate to leave them. I mean, that evening bite, that evening bite might be unreal, you know. That's right. But I done went through uh, six dozen, yeah, six dozen herring. I'm getting ready to go back and buy some more. I just called the boy. I said, you got any more left? He said he got some left, so I'm gonna go get the rest of them. Chop the rent off. Yep. So you better get on the phone and tell them to get some more bait if you got to have hair. I ain't fishing this weekend. Okay. Alright, good enough. Alright, well I'm getting ready to reel up. We're gonna go get more bait and uh make another deal. I'm gonna make another pass at it. Alright, let me know how you do it. Alright, boy, I'll do it. Alright.